Hi, I'm Melanie Bracewell. I'm a stand-up comedian. I won the Seven Days Comedy Apprentice Competition and the 2015 Raw Comedy Quest. I figured out the best way to get out of any boring conversation. What you do is, as soon as you're bored of talking to someone, you just close their eyes like a corpse. <laughs> I've always been one of those people that loves theatre and drama, and I would always be part of, like, the school plays and stuff, and I'd always want to play, like, the comedic roles, because I liked, on stage, just people responding and, and laughing to what I was doing. Another thing about me, I'm quite, I'm quite a competitive person. Uh, the other day I was watching Antiques Roadshow and I was thinking of some strategies. So the first time I did stand-up, it was the most terrifying thing ever. I was like pacing up and down the green room and like finally called my name and I was like, thought I'd forgotten everything I was about to say and it was the most terrifying thing. And then I went out there. It's really daunting seeing all these faces. My parents decided to sit right in the front row. Great. And then you say your, your first sort of joke, and if it gets a laugh, which it did, thankfully, you just, you kind of feel a bit easy. You feel like, okay, these, these people are on board, these people are on my side. Because if I was on Antiques Roadshow, I would not be rushing to get to the front of the line. I would be letting people cut in front of me. So I was the very last person, so that by the time I get to the front, all my stuff is slightly older. So many people do stand up, and they do one bad gig, and they're like, Oh, okay, I guess this isn't for me. I'm not funny. <laughs> One clap. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like it. One at a time, it's good. Because every single comedian ever, like, has had a bad gig. Everyone's, everyone's had something that didn't go as well as all the other ones. It's just mainly just being persistent in your failures and just keep going with it no matter what. And that's sort of what I'm glad that I, I've worked up, like, a resilience to. So after a bad gig, I'm... I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. And this, this girl came up to me and I was wearing a necklace and she came and she's like, I love your necklace. And then they all started trying to compete with each other. The girl behind her was like, I love, love your necklace. And the girl behind her was like, I love, love, love your necklace. And the girl behind her was like, it's not that great. I heard the other day, like, the best writers aren't writing and the best actors aren't acting and the best comedians are probably not doing stand-up comedy. And that's just because they didn't take that first step. And if you just take that first step, then you're way above anyone who's just sort of like, oh, I've been thinking of doing it. So just do it, just book yourself in, and if it goes badly, just forget about it and try again. If you really want to do it, then you will do it and you will succeed. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm an Emily Hey, please, help me up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No, I can't. Eva, you've been pushing. Oh, keep pushing, just click subscribe, otherwise we're gonna be here the whole time.